So step number one, look for Zoom Cloud Meetings in your Play Store or App Store. Then install the app and press open. And you will be redirected to this page here where you have the opportunity to join a meeting. You don't have to create a Zoom account to join a meeting. So you can join a meeting by installing the app onto your phone. And then once you open the app, you can join a meeting like this. So if you press on join a meeting, you need the meeting ID in order to join the meeting. And the host of that meeting will send you the meeting ID and also a password if that is required. Also, when you're joining a meeting, you have two options here. You can select the first option if you want to mute yourself when you're entering the meeting. And you can select the second option if you want your video turned off when you're entering the meeting. Obviously, you can turn on both options once you are in the meeting. And then you click on join meeting to join the meeting. So it's that simple, really. If you're enjoying this video so far, please like it so that it can be shared with more people and help out with the YouTube algorithm. Thank you. And this is what happens when the host or organizer is inviting you to join a meeting. So for example, if I want to invite participants by sending them a message, I click on message. Then I choose the person I want to send the invitation to. Then I need to add the meeting ID and password to the message and send. And then when somebody clicks on this link, they can join the meeting by downloading Zoom onto their phone and by adding the meeting ID and password if it is required to join the meeting. This is how easy it is. You will also be asked by your phone to allow access to your phone's camera, audio and other settings. And you can see now there are two participants taking part in the meeting, myself the host and DR. And as a participant, you can use the raise hand feature to alert the host that you want to speak without interrupting the meeting. So I can see here on my phone as the host that DR wants to speak because his hand is raised. And if I tap on DR, I can choose as the host to lower his hand, to unmute him, to chat with him, to make him a host. So there are many other options that I have here. Guys, if you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up. Also, if you need a detailed step-by-step -step tutorial about how to use Zoom on your desktop or how to use Zoom on your iPhone or Android phone, then I will link those two tutorials right here now at the end of this video and in the description box as well. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.